Hello everyone, Chris here, and today we're going to be covering the Open tab of Microsoft Word 2013. Now, uh, whenever you go to File, you're going to see this Open tab right there on the, la uh, on the left, right under the New for New Blank Documents. And from here, you're going to be given a few options for where you want to be opening a file from. And typically, the kind of file you're going to be opening in Microsoft Word is, of course, going to be a Word document. Now, uh, it makes it pretty easy for you here. If you've been recently working out of a document, um, the guys at Microsoft realize that it's very likely you're going to be wanting to open the files that you most recently saved. So by going to the Recent Documents tab, which is the default one it opens to, you're going to see all of your recently accessed documents uh, right under Recent Documents. Now, this is going to be keeping track of the ones you've opened inside of Microsoft Word. Uh, 2013. If you also use programs like OpenOffice, it's not going to count those as recent documents because, of course, uh, Microsoft Word only knows what you've opened with Microsoft Word. Now, that's not the only option for um, how you want to go ahead and find your files. You can manually uh, navigate to them as well, which uh, some people like to do. For some people, it's kind of a nightmare as well. Um, up to you. But they do also make it pretty easy here. Most documents do get stored in the user slash documents folder. So we'll go ahead and uh, click on that. And you can see that I have, in fact, saved that tutorial series document in my documents folder. Uh, of course, if you get too many document files, might be a good idea to go ahead and create new folders here um, and organize it. But that's a completely different topic. Um, your desktop is also a likely potential one, so you can go ahead and click here and see if you've saved any files to the desktop. A uh, quick thing about the desktop, since it is what you see on your screen um, all the time right here, it's a good idea not to let it get too cluttered. Usually it's better to move your files into your documents folder, um, just as a general tip. But aside from that, as I mentioned in my previous video, uh, at least I believe it did. Um, Microsoft Word 2013 and the entire Microsoft suite has been moving in the direction of integrating online services. And one of those services is Microsoft's own uh, OneDrive, which is their cloud storage option or solution, however you want to call it. And um, what you can do is you can actually integrate Microsoft Word right in with your Microsoft account and your OneDrive files. So by... Uh, using a Microsoft account on Windows 8 like it encourages you to do or just by signing in up here at the top um, into a Microsoft account you can access uh, OneDrive and I believe you would also have to have the software installed on your computer if uh, if OneDrive if you're not using Windows 8 Windows 8 comes built in with OneDrive but I'm not 100% sure on that anyway from there you can browse the OneDrive folders and uh, if you don't already know Right here, I'm looking at uh, the cloud storage folders, which the files are on my computer, but they also get uploaded onto the Microsoft servers. And that's the difference with cloud storage. Um, just briefly, anything that gets stored on the cloud and synchronized with the cloud is going to be saved as a backup on a remote server, which is good if you don't like losing important files. So from here, you can also see I did, in fact, copy the tutorial series document right into my cloud storage as well so we could open it up from there. Uh, there's a couple more options although not ones that you're really going to mess around with. OneDrive it's already there for the personal account I believe that's for adding uh, more accounts if you want. Um, other emails maybe have a work email or work OneDrive account you want to integrate into your Microsoft Office and uh, then SharePoint, which um, we may cover a completely different time. Um, but aside from that, we're just going to go ahead and use this to open up the file. <laughs> it's a kind of a long-winded speech on how to open files, but you can see that there are multiple, pos uh, multiple places that you can store your files. And it's not really hard to open them up once you know what they are. And for a second, I, th I thought that the file didn't save properly there. But you can see that this is actually the, uh, the template file we were working on in the other tutorial series. So that's really all there is to opening documents. You just got to know where it's located. And if it's a file you've worked on recently, uh, using recent documents is a really, really quick and good way to access that and continue working almost immediately. 
So I've been Chris. If you have any questions about opening documents in Microsoft Word, just let me know in the comments section down below. Aside from that, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.